Hello boys and girls, I'm teacher Regan. Once again, welcome to Easy Lim, Learning Simplified. So in our today's session or this session, we are going to discuss the total value of decimals. If you can remember, in our previous session, we discussed the place value of decimals. Uh, normally, we need to appreciate that there is a correlation between the place value and the, the, the total value. Or in other words, what I'm saying, for you to get the total value, you need to have the knowledge of the place value. So they are close to each other. They, 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 they go together. Are we together? Yeah. So for example, uh, let us just start with the, the, the total value of an, an, a normal number. For example, for example, if you have a number like uh, a number like uh, say two 23, 234.56 and you have been asked to uh, to get the total value of each and every digit in this particular number. A number like 234.56. This is a decimal number. Why? It has got the whole number part and the fractional part separated by a decimal point. So the number one thing that you need to know is the place value of each and every digit in this particular number. Then afterwards, to get the total value, you multiply the digit and its place value. Are we communicating? Yeah, so solution. Solution. So we are going to write the number here. We are going to write the number here. We shall have the number. Place value, allow me to denote that by PV. Then we shall have here the total value. Allow me to denote that by TV. So we are going to write our number vertically. Then we shall write our place value in there. Then allow me to start with the first number, which is 2. So let us discuss the place value of digit 2 together class. The place value of 4, 1s, correct, 10s, 100s. So the place value of digit 2 is hundreds. So that implies to get its total value, we multiply 2 times its place value, which is hundreds, then you'll get 200. Are we together? Good. The next digit is 3. Once again, what is the place value of 3? 1s, 10s. So the place value of 3 is 10s. So to get its total value, we multiply the digit by its place value 10s, and that is 30. Are we communicating? Correct. So the next digit, the last digit on the whole number part is 4 with a place value of 1s. And the total value will be 4 times 1, which is 4. Then at this point, we have the decimal point. So the first digit after the decimal point is 5. And we say that the place value of the digit that comes immediately after the decimal point is tenths, tenths. And you can remember in the table that I gave you when we introduced the place value of decimals, how do we write a tenth? In fraction, we write a tenth like this, but this in decimal is 0 0.5, 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.51. So we multiply, the, this is now the place value numerically. This is the, the numerical place value. So we multiply it by the digit which is 5, then you'll get 0 0.5. So the total value of digit 5 is 0 0.5. And the next digit is 6. What is the place value of 6? Yes, Emily? Hundreds, correct. So after 10th, we go to hundreds. Hundreds. And hundreds, in fraction notation, is written as 1 over 100. And decimal notation is 0 0.0. .0 one, then we multiply that by the digit there, which is six, and its total value becomes 0 0.06. So that is how we get the total value of uh, the decimal numbers. In other words, you need to appreciate how to write the place values numerically. Then from there, you multiply that numerical place value by the digit in that particular position. Are we communicating? Good. Let us look at another example. Another example. Another example. 
So here you can have another example. Uh, example. Joseph's code scored Joseph's code twenty five point nine six nine eight in an online online game points these are points sorry points in an online game full stop work out work out the total value the total value the total value of each digit digit each digit in the number each digit in the number so solution so once again we shall write our number vertically we write our number then we shall have the place value here then the total value here so we are going to write our number vertically so we'll start with the first number so the first the whole number part is actually 25 then we have 9 6 9 8 so the place value of the first digit on the whole number part which is 5 is 1 so the place value there is 1 and the place value of the second digit which is 2 that is 10 so to get the total value of the first one you multiply the digit by its uh, place value which is 10 to get 20 here we shall multiply 5 by 1 to get 5 then we have a decimal point. Then what is the place value of the first digit immediately after the decimal point? Yes? Yeah, tenths. So we have tenths, hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands. Then finally we have tens of thousands. So the place value of digit 9, which is the first digit after the decimal point, is tenths. So we have 9 times tenths, which is 0 0.1. Then you'll get 0 0.9. So here we have the place value of digit 6 is hundreds. That is 6 times hundreds, which is 0 0.01. And that gives us 0 0.06. Then the next digit is 9 again with a place value of thousands. So that is 9 times thousands written as 0 0.001 and that is 0 0.009. Last but not least, the digit 8 with a place value of tens of thousands. That is 8 times 0 0.0001 and that will give us 0 0.0008. So that is how we go about the place value of decimals. I encourage you to always accompany your total values with the decimal place values because you can see that for us to get the total value of any digit in this particular number, we have to rely on its place value. So producing the place value and the total value at the same time is very, very important. So any question? Any question? If you do not have any question, uh, you can take down the following uh, question number two. You can take down question number two. Calculate the total value. of underline each of the following digits of each digit 
in the numbers below in the numbers below so a we have 2435 point 1001 b we have 54.2941 c we can have 7, 174.134 so kindly you can get questions on total value in word form or you can get them in this manner in all the situations the concept and the method remains the same so take time and do those questions and of course many more other questions you can come across and see you in our next session thank you